Hello everyone! In today's fast tutorial, I'm going to answer a question I received last week, and it's how to use a paint layer to control a mask in Substance Painter. So let's check it out. We'll start by adding a paint layer and a fill layer. Be sure to position the fill layer above the paint layer. Now in the paint layer, create an anchor point, and in the fill layer, create a black mask with a fill layer. In the grayscale input of the field, select the anchor point. One important thing to notice is that in the reference channel dropdown, we need to select the channel we are using in the paint layer. In this case, I will use the base color. Now, to try it out, let's go to the fill layer and enable the height, the roughness, and the metal. Set the height to 1, the roughness to 0, and the metallic to 1. And in the paint layer, let's just enable the color and set the color to red. Now we paint. We can see the height is changing, but we don't get the expected results in the roughness and the metallic. If we go back to the fill layer in the mask and enable the mask visualization, we can see that the mask is not using the full range from white to black. There are two basic ways to solve this. We can either change the alpha behavior to extract alpha, or use the levels to lighten the results. That way we will use as much of the grayscale range as we can. Since this is a mask with only a luminous channel, I would recommend to extract the alpha. That way you don't modify the original grayscale range unless you want. Now if we go back to the material, we can see that we are getting the expected results. You can use this technique in layers, folders, and it is a great way to mix procedural and non-procedural workflows. For example, now I can go back to the fill layer and add more channels, like the base color, I can change the height value or the roughness. And if we want to modify the paint layer, we can always go back. Well, that's all for now. Hope you liked the video and see you next time.